tapped into these uh, nylons they import from China and why? So, I mean, there is, there is a clear connection. You talk about potato. See, potato kind of, uh, potato kind of uh, produce, they go waste very quickly. So if the frost sets in, if the frost sets in, it is gone. So you have to dig it out before the frost sets in. And if you go to the CPRI website, the Central Potato Research Institute website, now CPRI is running observatories right now in Meerut, and one of them I think is in Punjab, because I think most of our potato and, and the action from Mekin is probably in, in, there, I think near Ludhiana. And if you look at their models, though the interfaces are not very nice, the model is very simple. It's called the Julka cast model. And the model is that from, you have the temperature data, I can predict the onset of this frost. And see the, look at the irony of it. The irony of it is that they are doing a simpler model because there is no way they can collect more data from their field observatories. And imagine if, I mean, how much is a temperature sensor cost and how much a GSM module cost in today's world? And if, you, if they had just gone and spread them around those fields and observatories, and if they can get better data in time, you go to the ISRI website, right? You, you read through ISRI publications, and you look at the models time and again. We do simpler models because we have simple data. If somebody can give you better data, you could also do better models. Okay, so what stage is your product right now? See, we have, we have deployment. See, I would not call it a runaway commercial success or anything like that because, uh, uh, but development is still going on. But uh, see, I have some presence here in Guntur also, in near one of those, uh, uh, some, some, some agri guys. Then see, we have some presence in research institutes like ICAR and all institutes I'm working with and to some extent ISC also. And GKVK also has one of the stations. And main, main thing is that, see, this is a, this is where you want to go. And the kind of machines there I showed you is, is not where, is not the end of the journey. But see, this is the plan. This is what you want to do. And in final, in, in, in the final step, you really want to go to that ubiquitous uh, kind of pervasive com computing kind of a, you know, world where, let's say you, you, you are actually running a warehouse and you actually want to, let's say you are storing chilies. And, you don't know if the workers are opening and closing the door properly or not. You just go there, you take it out of your bag and throw it and come back. And you come home and you turn on your mobile and you should start getting the data. So not there yet, but the plan is there. And uh, I mean, if, if you really look at if somebody can do it, see, forget about me doing it or X doing it or Y doing it. If anybody can do it, it's a wonderful thing, right? And I mean, it's, it's, it has hundreds of practical uses. Okay, judges, I'm going to ask you to wrap up. You're running out of time. Rajesh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All the best with your business.